Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Mitz from Level Up Bassin. Today we're going to introduce you to another product. This one is made by Flex Solar. So we're going to get into how to set up 120 watts of solar power in a matter of about three minutes. Super easy setup, very solid product, can't wait to show it. If there's something in the video you like, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I'll provide all the links to everything below, as well as feel free to go to levelupbassin.com and check out more of the details. So let's dive right in. Quick introduction of the product. This is the Flex Solar A60 panel. It is a 60 watt panel that is the easiest panel I think I've ever set up. So watch this. I'm going to set up 120 watts of power in about a minute. Okay, maybe not a minute, maybe a few seconds. Well, obviously that's without hooking up the cables. But these panels are ultra thin and ultra lightweight. They are only 5.3 pounds or 2.4 kilograms each. That's it. They are almost paper thin. If I turn it sideways, it disappears. Holding it with just two fingers, there's no weight to this thing at all. In the back of the panel, you have a little charge controller, which does everything you need it to do. So it is self-contained, all in one, ready to go. You want to talk about a perfect panel for camping, or even if you're on your boat, throw one of these in a compartment, pull it out, set it up. The charge controller has a DC in, which handles MC4 and Anderson connections. It has a USB-C, which handles 60 watts, as well as USB 3.0, with pretty much fast charging for every typical device you have today. You have the USB-C out. Plug it right into my phone. The charging symbol. Now, even crazier than that, is I can charge a Chromebook. Same story, plug it in. You can see the lightning bolt, it's charging. See how far the sun's going down? And this panel still has enough power to charge a Chromebook through the USB-C cable. So let's get into how to get these panels arranged so they can charge whatever you have behind it. Super easy. Back of the panel, you have the two charge controllers. I have two 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter extension cables, male to male. Plug the DC connection in. Have that right there. DC connection in. Next, I have the Y connector with two female ends. Again, it's the 5.5 millimeter by the 2.1 millimeter, and we're done. You definitely want to invest in another 8 millimeter plug that just converts. A lot of the power stations are requiring these for the charging port for the input. Once you have that set up, your panels are ready to go. You can plug right in, and you're charging at 120 watts in peak sun. With everything all connected, don't forget to check out Flex Solar's power station. It's an FP100 with over 1,021 watt hours and 1,000 watts of output. It's a great match for these panels. Thanks for watching. Mitz from Level Up Bassin. Check out Flex Solar. These are the A60s. They have a pro model coming out as well. I'll link to all that below. Like and subscribe and feel free to ask questions. Thanks again.